Hello there and welcome back. Uh, on the 7th of October, the Python uh, 3.13.0 was officially released. So it was uh, about a month ago, and by the time you see this video, it was even longer. But uh, I thought I want to create a video about the cool new features that are present in this uh, new version. So the first thing that has changed or improved is the interpreter. So let's open up the Python interpreter. And from now on, if you want to clear the screen, you can simply say clear. And this will get rid of all the previous uh, commands that you see above your Apple. And the next thing is that you can either use exit or quit to exit the interpreter, which I think a pretty neat feature. And if you want, you can use F1 or help to access the help system. And let's clear it out. What we also have is basically a history. So let me just try and show it to you. So how do I do this? This one, F2. So this is going to be the history of the Python. And this history lives up to the point of exiting the interpreter. So for example, if I say uh, import this for i in range 10, mm, print i, then if we check the history, you can see this is the history file. And uh, what we also have is something called paste mode. And this allows you to paste different uh, longer texts. Let's exit it and clear the screen. And what happens is that when you, for example, have a list comprehension, let's say that my list and you want to break it off so it's a bit easier to read, what you can do is the following. This is how it looks like and you have like a four, uh, sorry, underscore four, underscore in range 10 and then close it off. So technically, if you are now navigating upwards, it will bring up the whole section or the scope and it allows you to retrieve code that way. And what you might also have as a situation is the following. Let's create a test.py. And here we have an import this statement. Here we have a for i in range 10, print i. And we may also have in the same scope another statement. So this is hard to copy and paste. So let's save it. And if you get the content of the test.py, and if we wanted to paste it like this to a previous Python version, what is going on? Let's copy and open up the repo and clear it. So now if we paste it, you can see that this empty space did not break the paste. Because previously, if you had pasted this one and on this line, you would get like an indentation error. But from now on, you will be able to copy and paste strings this way. And you also have better error messages even better than in the previous versions. So for example, uh, let's call this uh, inverse and we give it a number and we return one divided by number. Then if we call inverse of zero, 
then you will see the trace back is going to point you exactly to what the problem is. Previously, it was a little bit more like shadowed or, or hidden in that way. What else do we have here? So... <laughs> Let's say that we have a list and one, three, four, two, five, three, six. And what we want to do is to call sort sorted on my list and reverse equals true. And we forgot to give the second R then what you see is another improvement on the error messages. So the sort got an unexpected keyword argument revise. Did you mean reverse? So it will try to figure out what are the possible uh, keyword arguments. And based on some kind of fuzzy matching, it will give you a suggestion that maybe you meant this instead of that, which I think is also kind of a good example. So what else do we have here? Oh, we also have an option to uh, basically temporarily disable GIL, the global interpreter lock. It's in like an experimentation phase, but if you want, we can do that. So code, we are going to create a variable that we want to execute. So the code is going to call import by features. And we want to print the by features dot free threading. And this is going to be our code. And we can use the Python 3.13-C and dollar sign code. And no module, module by features. Oh, because that has to be uh, installed. Okay, so Python 3.13, the shrimp install by features and it's not going to work all right the next one it also received an experimental JIT compiler and uh, it has some improvements to static typing and what else do we have here it has a new syntax for generics so for example you have to import from collections, import. Oh, you don't even need that. So uh, class, my Q, and we use the T, and then define our generic Q, which is, I think, good. And then we can do something like this, T equals str which is going to make sure that this is of type generic string. And what else do we have here? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We have this command line features. I think I have the PyGoodies series on shorts, which you can check. But for now, that was all. So I think uh, I will wait a couple of months until I make this my main distribution on my macOS. But for now, this looks really promising. Although, to be honest, uh, this uh, copy and pasting stuff is, was more like a nuance. So it's not something that is really a problem, in my opinion. But the improved error messages are definitely a must-have. So, see you in the next one.